Greetings out there in YouTube land. This is Morris Man. And as always, I thank you guys for coming to my channel. Got a special treat for you guys today for sale. I have uh, a Squire bass custom guitar. And before I pick it up, stick it to the camera, just give you a little rundown on that. There's not anything in my collection right now that I want to quote unquote sell. I mean, really. I would like to keep all the stuff that I get, but I'm kind of preparing for the future because I told you I'm getting up out of this ghost ridden house next year. So, you know, as you get older, there are things that you kind of, I guess you kind of follow, you know, because I didn't understand that when I was in my 30s. When uh, you get people my age want to get rid of their houses and shrink, you know, their kids are gone. It's just them. And when you get to that point, you realize it. I'm tired of raking leaves. I'm tired of shoveling snow. I'm tired of, what's the third one? It's the leaves. It's the snow and cutting the grass. I'm like, I don't want to do that no more. I'm not 30 years old anymore. I don't want to do that. So, you know, you find yourself shrinking out to a place that you don't have to do any of that stuff. Uh, you're eliminating additional bedrooms because you don't need it other than collecting a bunch of stuff. I got an entire bedroom area full of music equipment. And I can't take all of that stuff with me when we leave here, you know. So uh, I'm preparing now for the near future. And like I told you, there's nothing in my collection that I want to sell, especially the stuff I have now. Because the guitar that I'm about to stick up there is beautiful. It's rare. It's custom. You most likely, you're not going to find a Squire bass like this. You're not, you know. And I encourage you, go on in on all the eBay, Reverb, or whatever, and try to find this. You won't find this. You'll find one with perhaps a maple neck, because that's what makes this guitar so rare. It's very rare to find a Squire with a maple neck. Most of them are rosewood. And when you do find them, they're very expensive. They're very hard to find. And uh, there's been some custom work on this guitar, too, or bass. And it sounds great. The price is 250 which is really a good deal because a good squire costs you about three something and that's without the customization is like it's with this one the tone sounds great the action is good and i'm going to leave a link down here so you guys can hear me play this guitar got some nice bottom my first series of bass guitars when i started to play professional was nothing but precision i didn't get introduced to the jazz bass guitar till years later you know, but before then and throughout this time, it was the precision bass. It was the precision bass. So I'm going to stick it up to the camera, let you guys see it. And like I told you guys, there's nothing in my collection, absolutely nothing, that I feel the need to get rid of or want to. I'm shrinking down, you know. I'm, I guess I look at myself at this stage of my life musically as semi-retired. No more touring, not that much writing anymore, not that much producing. You know, still doing some little work, but, you know, winding down in the twilight years. You know, and it's interesting that you say that it comes out of your mouth because you still think, like you feel like when you were in your 30s, but it's like, oh, no, dude, you got 30, almost 30 plus more years on top of that 30. And you do things accordingly to as your life progresses, you know, because, again, uh, shrinking down, you know, I'm looking out there right now today, shitload of leaves everywhere. And I was like, I'm going to wait till they almost fall off the tree. You know, as you get older, you think smart. It's like, why should I rake it up this week? And then I got to tree full of leaves and then in four days it looked like i ain't done nothing out here so i'm like i'm gonna wait till they almost all of them fall and then go out there and get them all up and still every week come out there raking 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 i'm like think smart not hard you know 
So uh, some of the stuff has to go. There's really no physical space for it. And technically, I just don't need all this stuff. I got like 10 bases. I'm like, I don't really need 10, you know. So I have to shrink down. I got another base I'm going to put up for sale tomorrow to Sammy. It's smaller, and it feels good to play. You know, so uh, again, two, f- 250 plus $65 shipping and handling. Unfortunately, I cannot do California. It would cost you too much, and it would take too long to get there. It would cost about $120 to ship this guitar to California. So, you know, that's why that's the reason. Ain't that I'm hating on California. Don't want to send you guys nothing. That's just the, the situation at hand. It's uh, very expensive. Take a little longer. I mean, it's actually worth the 120 plus the 250 Don't get me wrong, but it's like, no, nah, it's just too much. I wouldn't want to pay, pay that. So, again, this is a Squire Custom Precision Bass. It's rare that you find them in white. And then he has the matching white knobs. You know, all that stuff's kind of customized. Special neck put on it. Feels good to play. Sounds great. I'll leave a link down here so you guys can hear me play it. So if you're interested, leave me a comment down here. Say, Morris, man, I want to grab that. Once you send that comment and I respond to you, say, okay, nobody else has asked for it. It's yours. Send the money now. Once you send the money, I put soul across the header. And I probably would disable the comments at that point, too, because I'm like, it's gone. You know, there's need to inquire about, oh, you still got that? Because I've had people do this. And that's why I started sticking sold on the header once I sold it, which only would make sense. But sometimes, you know, you start to figure out things a little more easier to do. And I would leave the, these videos up sometime. And, you know, the average person see this video and it's about a year old and it don't say so i don't mention nothing about that they didn't inquire about it i'm like no i'm sorry that guitar left two days after i post because the majority of the guitars that i post they go within two days because you know i have a reputation on my channel where i don't play junk i don't play stuff hard to play i don't play jacked up action guitars i have gotten guitars in that condition and they go right back Cause I'm like, uh, I don't want to keep this and I'm definitely not going to pass on junk to you guys. You know, it goes back to where it came from and uh, you get great deals. Cause again, if you were to find something even close to this on shit reverb, this would be $400. You know, if you don't believe me, go check now. eBay, it'd be about three fifty, dollars something like that. You know, and my Kara, you know, it'd be so jacked up and people lie to you about the condition of the, of the items when you get them that uh, you try to send them, send them back or get stuck with them. You know, so uh, I learned a long time ago. It's about how it feels to play. You know, this other stuff is not as important. Not really important. Yeah, I don't really care what the, my guitar look like. I'm here to play it and enjoy playing it and enjoy entertaining you guys. You know, and where the wood came from and all that nonsense, you know. I'm just a player. I'm not some tech guy that's going to give you stats on the, the pickups and the wood. Give a shit about that. Only thing I care about, does it feel good to play and does it sound good? Yes, yes, I'm done. I'm so, you know, still again. What kind of wood is this and uh, where did it come from? Who made it and what kind of pick? I don't give a shit about that. And most professional musicians don't. You guys been sold that marketing pitch that you, uh, you've you been pitched to believe that first thing is it got to look good. If it don't look good, I don't want it, you know. And I can understand with that when you're young. You're just starting. It's all about the visual. But as you get older, you get wiser. And you're just like, no, no, thank you. So, again, I'm going to sign off. Two, fifty, sixty-five dollars $65 shipping and handling. It'll go out the very next business day, United States postage with tracking. you got to sign for this. Once uh, I come from the post office, I see the tracking information, even though PayPal does that. I see the tracking information so you can watch and, you know, follow your guitar on this destination to get into you. Again, there's absolutely nothing that I want to sell right now, but you know, I'm preparing for the future. I don't I, I don't have physical space for all this stuff. And I enjoy I enjoy finding good deals for you guys and passing it on. Cause ain't nothing worse than spending your hard on money on junk. And then it's hard to get your money back after you done bought the junk. Like I did on Makira. I spent I wasted a hundred dollars on that mixer. I couldn't even use that thing. It was so staticky it can't even couldn't even use. I had to just literally physically pick that heavy thing up and throw it in the garbage. You know, I lost a hundred bucks. So until next time, take care. Uh, PayPal information is right down here. Mortsman64 at hotmail.com. Again, two fifty. 
60 Rats Ship in the Hanlon. There's a link down there so you guys can check it out. I'm going to miss this guitar, you know, because there's not too many guitars in my collection that I custom made and they look really good. This thing looks really good and it feels good to play and it sound great. Till next time. <laughs>